What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Mike Odom here, Odom Productions. And I kind of want to do a channel update. I see a lot of YouTubers talking about the COPPA stuff and I want to give you guys my opinion. And I actually got a nice little haul going on right here. Today's Thursday and I just got my Wolverine in the mail, X23. And I'm really happy to finally get this figure. I have not been able to find her for less than 20 bucks. I haven't been able to find her for less than 25 actually. And I never saw her in the wild. So I'm very happy to get her, but it is a little disappointing. There's like a little blue mark on her nose right there. And if you know how I can fix that without ruining the figure or the paint or having the paint, can you leave a comment below and let me know? Um, really excited to have this figure, been hunting her for a while. The regular head looks really good, but I've, I've needed to finish my Sauron, so I'm really happy to get this and complete the build of the figure and have this uh, version of Wolverine. And then from Hasbro Pulse, I was able to pick up the Grey Hulk, and I'm really excited about having this figure. Um, I only have one at the moment. I might pick and buy another one because this packaging is freaking awesome, and it's huge compared to the uh, compared to the other vintage figures. This is huge, and I'm really happy to get it. Um, the Grey. This figure looks really good. You know how Comic-Con figures, just the paint apps are really, really good on them. They never really mess those figures up. From getting this from Hasbro Pulse, this is one of the cleanest figures I've seen in packaging. Um, yeah, I wanna crack this guy open probably today. Um, I wanna do a review on it, so definitely stay tuned for that. Um, I really like this packaging, but I'm definitely gonna have to ruin it and pop it open. So I might pick up another one. All right, so I want to talk about the COPPA stuff, if your channel is for children or not. And I guess my channel is for children because I got toys in it and I'm reviewing them and doing some artistic stuff with figures and toys in general. I think toys, toys at all, you're going to have to deal with this, with this subject. Um, but I'm not too worried about it. YouTube will figure it out. Um, I, I heard somebody talk about you getting sued for violating it. If you say your channel's not for kids, but then you do YouTube reviews of action figures and then it is for kids and then uh, YouTube can find you for it, that, that's bullshit. Um, it probably won't happen. Whatever's going on is probably going to solve itself and we're all going to be fine. I don't even have a thousand subscribers, so I'm not even worried about monetization right now. Um, I'm, I'm just doing this for fun. I really do hope this channel grows, but I'm not too worried about this whole cop stuff. I'm actually going to start making different videos. I'm actually gonna start producing some really good videos. I wanna do things other than action figures. Um, I am gonna dedicate it to this channel because this is the only channel I got and I might as well just stick with it. That's why I actually switched it to Odin Productions. And uh, yeah, I just wanna start having some fun on this channel. I wanna start doing some skits. I wanna do gear review. I wanna talk about gear. I really gotta start talking about this camera that I got. I've had it for about two months now, the Nikon Z6, and I love this thing. Uh, this this is in 4k so enjoy yeah i want to start having some fun with my channel i want to start doing some other things talking about shows the mandalorian is really really good i like it because it's a western it's more like a clint eastwood movie and it's mixed with star wars so i mean it, it's freaking awesome um if you're into gear if you're into cameras if you're into lenses if you're into sound equipment if you're into lighting if you're into behind the scenes stuff i i'm learning a lot about videography right now i'm learning a lot about film because i work at this equipment dealership um, I'm doing all their videos, I do all their photography, and I'm doing all their marketing. I'm learning a lot, and I want to apply that stuff to my channel. So I'm definitely excited for the future. I'm definitely excited for the things that I'm going to be doing for this channel. I want to do some tutorials, whatever I can teach you guys. Uh, whatever you want to learn from me, go ahead and ask. I'll try and help as much as possible. I think my first tutorial should probably be some Lightroom stuff or some Photoshop stuff. Just basically editing colors, bringing out other colors, and messing around with uh, light and um, saturation and contrast and stuff like that. So if you guys aren't already, do consider subscribing. I plan on doing a lot of cool videos maybe getting out some comedy skits about collecting, um, about holding cameras and just shooting with film and video. Um, it's really what I'm into right now, so I'm definitely gonna try and put out stuff like that. Um, I don't know if I'll be doing it anytime soon, but I definitely will be putting that stuff in, onto this channel. So if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. All right, but thank you guys for watching. That's my channel update for now. Um, I'm definitely gonna be doing some reviews. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing talking about some gear. I definitely wanna do some traveling real soon. We got the holidays coming up. So some fun is in store. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Peace.
crispy.